Coming up on this episode of Airborne Unlimited, EAA urges members to take action on critical flight training issue. Also, helicopter pilot lands at Dairy Queen to buy cake, then gets busted. And Over Air unveils Butterfly Evitol. Happy Monday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. EAA urges members to take action on critical flight training issue. After the FAA administrator spoke at Oshkosh, EAA is asking its members to rally and provide a unified voice with our elected officials. Earlier this year, a federal court determined that compensated flight instruction in experimental, limited, and primary category aircraft, even instruction obtained in an individual's own aircraft, was contrary to FAA regulation. While the FAA has used letters of deviation authority and exceptions to temporarily address the issue, a long-term fix is years away under the normal rulemaking process. This is unacceptable to EAA and the rest of the general aviation community, says the organization. That is why we are backing the certainty for General Aviation Pilots Act to quickly address the issue. With the help of EAA, twin bills have been introduced in the Senate and House that will require the FAA to recognize flight training and the additional pilot program for home-built flight testing as permitted activities not requiring any special authorization. The Senate bill is S-2458, introduced by Senators James Inhofe, John Bozeman, and Angus King. And the House bill is H.R. 4645, introduced by Representative Sam Graves. After the break, Cygnus spacecraft secured at the International Space Station. More news after these messages. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo Power Plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Cygnus spacecraft secured at International Space Station. After launching at 6.01 p.m. last Tuesday from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia, the Cygnus spacecraft solar array successfully deployed to collect sunlight to power Cygnus on its journey to the station. The International Space Station's crew welcomed Northrop Grumman's Cygnus cargo resupply ship on Thursday morning. The spacecraft's arrival brings more than 8,200 pounds of science experiments, crew supplies, and hardware for a future spacewalk, plus an order of pizza. Orbital Flight Test 2 postponed. NASA and Boeing have decided to postpone the launch of Orbital Flight Test 2 to the International Space Station as teams continue to work on the CST-100 Starliner propulsion system. Engineering teams have been working to restore functionality to several valves in the Starliner propulsion system from inside United Launch Alliance vertical integration facility that did not open as designed during the launch countdown for the August 3rd launch attempt. The valves connect to thrusters that enables abort and in-orbit maneuvering. Iridium and Honeywell partner on high-speed connectivity for aircraft. Honeywell and Iridium have partnered to become a valued added manufacturer for aviation terminals operating 
on the Iridium Next network. Honeywell's Aspire 150 and 350 systems are the first aviation SATCOM systems that will demonstrate connectivity under Iridium Certus service at up to 700 kilobits per second. Easy to install, these new systems minimize cost and aircraft downtime. After downsizing from previous generations, the Aspire 150 and Aspire 350 will help minimize fuel consumption as well. There's new plans to upgrade L-band service. In Marsat reports plans to invest in Elora, a wholesale upgrade of its L-band network. Plans included will be tripling the speed of the network and introducing smaller terminals that are used by customers to receive and decode the satellite signal. New spectrum management capabilities being incorporated into Elora network will deliver the fastest speeds globally available to L-band customers. Live customer trials in commercial aviation are scheduled to start in 2022, and the technology will be rolled out over the years to follow. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. We all know that Dairy Queen has some amazing tasting treats, but one helicopter pilot takes it to a whole new level. Royal Canadian Mounted Police received a call on July 31st regarding a helicopter that touched down near Dairy Queen in Tisdale. Originally worried that there could be an emergency due to the helicopter's red color, onlookers watched in shock as a passenger exited and returned back to the Robinson R44 with an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. The parking lot belonging to the town's middle and high schools was empty when the pilot descended, blowing up clouds of dust and debris as it touched down. Luckily, it was a summer Saturday. The small town's mayor, Al Jellico, watched the scene unfold. Well, I thought somebody must be angry, he told CBC jokingly. Initially, I thought that's probably not the right thing to do. The landing was determined to be a non-emergency by the RCMP. The 34-year-old pilot was determined to be licensed to operate the helicopter, but that it was illegal to land where he did. On August 4th, the pilot was charged with one count of dangerous operation of an aircraft. He will appear in court in Melfort on September 7th. After these messages, Overair unveils Butterfly eVTOL. Details after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. Overair unveils Butterfly eVTOL. Overair has finally revealed the commercial design of the Butterfly eVTOL, which has been kept strictly under wraps until now. The project is led by Abe Karam, the creator of the Predator unmanned aerial vehicle and the A160 Hummingbird. In January of 2020, Overair was established as a spin-off of Karam Aircraft, which now focuses solely on defense contracts. The five-passenger butterfly is designed to produce zero carbon emission in flight. Its propulsion system is known as Optimum Speed Propulsion, which gives its unique capabilities. Karam's OSP integrates over 20 years and $150 million of research and development in military rotorcraft programs, 
four large propellers will give two distinct aerodynamic advantages. First, prop efficiency during hover flight will give way to extra payload capacity and power margins, allowing the butterfly to operate safely through potential environmental changes. Second, its props are very quiet, which is perfect for heavily traveled routes over sensitive communities. Overair expects to survive Butterfly with the FAA in 2025. Following certification, Overair intends to launch commercial operations in integrated U.S. and South Korea markets, where strategic partner Hanwha Systems is leading the advanced air mobility revolution. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We'll see you next time. <laughs>